You should be most welcome to Jimmy Racing Total Nerdy Channel and today I'm going to show you how to switch from integrated to dedicated GPU. So let's go into the settings and uh, I'm gonna show you the ropes. The first thing we need to get out of the way is that you have not connected your display wrongly. It's namely so that you have to connect your display into your graphics card and not your motherboard. If you plug it directly into the motherboard, you will bypass the graphics card entirely and you will not be able to use any of that power from the graphics card because you will be using your integrated graphics from your motherboard automatically. You need to plug it into your graphics card and if you don't have a connection that works, you'll need to find an adapter. The second thing you need to think about is to have the proper NVIDIA graphics drivers. And I know you hear this a lot, but that means not, not the driver that automatically comes with your graphics card. It's like pre-installed. It's the wrong version that will give you NVIDIA control panel via Microsoft Store. And this control panel it just doesn't work the same way like the proper control panel. So go to Microsoft Store uninstall NVIDIA control panel from Microsoft Store if you have it there and then I'm going to show you exactly what driver you need to download in order to get the full NVIDIA control panel. So let's get some fresh drivers. Go to NVIDIA Advanced Driver Search, link in description. Then we'll right click on the Windows icon and open Device Manager. Inside Device Manager you will expand Display Adapters. Here it will tell you what type of NVIDIA graphics card you have. Now fill in the information in the advanced search. Windows 11, GeForce, GeForce 950 M is my M is notebook model. Select the standard driver type. The DCH driver does not contain a proper NVIDIA control panel, so don't use it. Select a recommended driver in whatever language you want, and then just click search. Here you can expand and click on the latest version and just click download. Proceed to the download page and click download again. Now you will wait for the file to download and when it has downloaded you will open it. After extraction it will check system compatibility. If this fails you selected the wrong version of your drivers. Now you can select to install your drivers with or without GeForce Experience. If you use NVIDIA Shadowplay you need GeForce Experience. If you don't use it do not install it because it drags down system performance. Now click agree and continue. Now we will select custom advanced install and just click next. Here you can choose to perform a clean install or not. This will remove all the drivers and it's a good idea to select if you install the drivers the first time after upgrading to Windows 11. Now you will need to wait for the installer to finish. After a couple of minutes the installation is now finished and you can close down this window. Now I will show you how to open NVIDIA control panel. Go to the taskbar and expand it down to the right. Here you find NVIDIA settings. If you click it, NVIDIA control panel will launch. Alright, so go and right click the start menu and inside here you select settings or just search for settings. And inside of here you will click the display section. And into the display section you will scroll down until you see graphics. Click that. Inside graphics you can choose which apps will run at what graphics card. So if you want to make sure that Windows actually uses a specific graphics card for a specific program, you'll need to set it up. So by default it's set at uh, let Windows decide and sometimes Windows make the wrong selection. So you can add an app, desktop app or Microsoft Store app. If you have a desktop app, for example a Steam game, you can browse for the Steam game inside the uh, Steam, Steam apps common and there you'll find your games and if you go into the game folder uh, then you'll actually find the exe file inside of there. So we'll just go into Garry's mod and here you see HL2XA is the one for Garry's mod and just add that and boom there we have the exe file and then you'll just click options and uh, change it from let Windows decide to high performance to make sure it always runs at the high performance option. 
If nothing is set inside of this menu, it will default to NVIDIA Control Panel. So go down to your lower right corner and launch NVIDIA Control Panel or search for NVIDIA Control Panel. Inside of here, you'll see these 3D settings. You might expand this menu if you don't see it and you will select Manage 3D Settings. Inside of here, you will change the preferred graphics processor from Auto Select to High Performance NVIDIA Processor. And then you'll click Apply. This is a global setting that will apply to all programs if they are not set or overridden by the Windows setting. So to make sure, you will just set it up at both ends to use the NVIDIA graphic card and it will use it instead of the integrated. Very easy. If you don't have NVIDIA control panel or are missing some options, you'll need to watch my tutorial on how to get NVIDIA control panel back, link in description. For now, we'll go to Device Manager and inside of here, we can take a little look at our display adapters. And here you can see your graphics card model. Double click it and click on driver and you can see when it was last updated. Hope that helped you and if it did, please leave a like and do subscribe for future videos. Because this is your host, Jim Odeson, and I'm signing out. But I'll be back every Tuesday at least for more tech tutorials and check out my gaming content as well. We'd also do live streams. In any case, this is Jim Reesen, and we're signing out. Bye.